will get the whole shot and the jumping towards turn one. Here we go then. It's a clean start for just about everybody. Will Zanoni mimic yesterday and get the whole shot? No, it's Cassaday pulling in front of him. Yesterday's race winner with Zanoni just behind him, but Akubo lining oh. up the outside of Egerta. Egerta pushed wide. Who will be the last late breakers in towards turn three? Turns two and three. Here we go. That is Cassaday making it out all cleanly through on the exit. This is Egerton we're on board with, pulling around the outside of Akubo, breaking down into turn three, and he does he make the move cleanly. El Akubo didn't want to let it go, but Egerton makes it very smoothly, indeed, up into third. Fastest lap of the race comes in from Cassidy, but it's immediately bettered by Dominic Egerton. He is down into the zone. It took him, I think, three laps to really find his rhythm and find his speed. And was he lining up a move with Kenneth and Zanoni there, going into turn three? I think he was. I think he was. He yes, is. he does. He makes a move on him again then, so will he be able to chase down? Down. Mattia Cassaday then. Egerta hasn't had a win in Moto E since 2020. He knows how to get victories across all other championships. He competes in the World Super Sport. He's had so many podiums so far this year across these two World Series. Will he add another win to his roster here? The chase is on between Egerta and Cassaday. One lap to go here in Moto E. Race two at the French Grand Prix then. Dominic Egerta versus Mattia Cassaday. A grandstand finish. It will be. Egerta pulls alongside. Will he be the last? and the late break of the neck and neck in towards turn three they go can he get it stopped yes he can just about but how much drive will he sacrifice Cassidy tries to pull side by side once again down towards turn five and in towards turn six oh brilliant stuff from Egerton he just closes the door before uh, Cassidy had a look into La Chapelle he was quick into that downhill right put lots of force through that front tire but he manages to hold on now let's see Egerton how well he can defend up front and you can see there that Nicola Canapa is basically right on the backside of Kevin Zanoni for third. It's going to be two fights. We'll have to keep an eye on four first and then for third. I'm not really sure where to look, but here we go. There's not going to be any overtake in towards the Shimano Buffesses from Egerta or Cassaday. Oh, the overtaking opportunities are running out. Cassaday a bit slower there. I think this might be Egerta's Neil. It might be. I think he was in just a little bit too hot to the Shimano Buffesses there. He had to sacrifice speed mid corner for the exit. And you can see he's nowhere near close enough to make a move. Canapa on the other hand is primed for this third place is he about to pick Zanoni's pocket he could be he lines him up round the outside he makes the overtaking move but it's going to be Dominique Egerta his first win in Moto E of the season oh, and with Zanoni. that the standings and it's Cassidy in second and Canaper in third ahead of Zanoni handed out once again by Fabio Cesara head of delivery Roma NL X way the big old X above his head.